Hi, Philip Montrose here. My wife Jane and I help people step up, make a difference, really live the life they want. Today I'm sharing another tip, tool, secret from Wallace Waddle's classic work, The Science of Getting Rich. In it he talks about how fear and doubt takes you away, away from what you want. Whereas uh, focusing, being on purpose, faith, that will take you toward what you want. You'll stand tall and attract the things that you do want. The idea is to have a positive attitude uh, and then you will take charge of your life. You'll focus on what you do want and learn from what you don't want. Now, speaking personally, uh, I was a person who grew up who was voted in my high school yearbook years ago as the most sarcastic person. So I had a lot of pessimism to change and work on and um, that really helped to turn things around when I started to see the possibilities rather than what was wrong. I, I can, you can learn from what's wrong. Uh, don't put your head in the sand. Don't be a Pollyanna. But have a realistic optimism and that will blossom into amazing possibilities and flows and miracle being in the flow there. For instance, uh, when we started our holistic practitioner business, Jane and I, years ago, it was before the internet. We didn't know that was going to happen. No one did. That was a miracle and it turned into a, a prospering internet business now where we help people with holistic healing and coaching and a, a deeper awareness of how they can make a difference in the world. So be open to it. Amazing things will happen if you're not reacting, considering yourself a victim. And however seemingly unjustified or unfair something is, you can use that for a breakthrough, a turnaround, compost, to grow something wonderful in your life. Keep the attitude up. Use whatever comes before you. It, you can make a difference. Uh, keep your head up high. Don't look down. I used to look down at the ground and talk negative things to myself walking around. And keep it up and, and, and know that even if it's, it's a setback, you can use that for a greater life. Uh, and then you will have some acts of faith and some leaps of faith and some quantum shifts in the process. So this is Philip Montrose. Until next time, wishing you a wonderful life.